Hey guys, what's going on? So you want to know if he or she is the one? Five ways to know coming up right now. Hi loves. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Heath. Tracy. And welcome to Joyfully Married After. Where on? We, on what? Heath and Tracy TV. Heath and Tracy TV. This is our very first YouTube. We're so glad you joined us. Welcome. So here we give advice on love, relationships, and marriage. And kids. We have kids. We have four children. After how many years of marriage? We've been married for 26 years. She looks good, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. He does too. Yes. Tracy right there. So raising children, being married, living life, uh, we, we have a very unique perspective on a number of things that we want to share with you guys. So stay tuned. So five things that caught my eye or about Heath that I knew he was the one were, one, he pursued me. Yep. I didn't have to go looking for him. I didn't have to wait for texts from him. Nope. I didn't have to wait if he, he was going to call. We didn't have oh, we didn't have a text. Yeah. I'm sorry. Phone I just hear calls. that a lot. Yeah. He didn't have to, I didn't, I didn't have to wait for the phone calls. I didn't have to see if he was going to meet me after class. He, he was there. Wonder. He was there looking for me. He was wondering where I was after class. Hey, he was calling me and seeing what was going on and how we were going to hook up. He pursued <laughs> me. That's how I knew this guy might be the one. He's actually pursuing me. He's not just hanging around, calling me every, he was on it. He was on it. The second thing was I felt secure when we were around. I felt like I could be myself. I felt like it wasn't, I didn't have to put on any airs. Not that, that I did with anyone else. I just felt really comfortable with myself. I think um, maybe a couple weeks into dating, I cut all my hair off. I cut all my hair off and I changed a different color. He didn't care. He thought it was cute. I was like, oh my God, this guy might be the one. He doesn't care what I do with my hair. And girls, you know how we like to change our hair. Yep. He didn't care. He liked me. I sure did. Still do. The third thing was he made me laugh. He still makes me laugh. <laughs> and it's not like he's a joker or anything like that. But he just really, really made me feel comfortable to the point where I could laugh at his jokes and him not feel like I was laughing at him. Right. I didn't feel that. It wasn't like it wasn't like he was always cracking a joke or anything like that. It was just the comfort level. When we were around, he made me laugh. He made it seem like this is gonna be fun today. <laughs> and oh my gosh, if he's the one, we're gonna have fun together. Right. The fourth thing was we talked on the phone for hours because the first couple of weeks of our courtship. We couldn't really see each other that much. We were right. getting to school and um, we were really, really busy, really trying to get into our schoolwork. Yep. I think he was traveling, trying to do some work with some extracurricular activities that he was involved in. So we didn't get to see each other much. So we were always Stop. on the phone. Stop. We were always talking on the phone. Yep. And it was like, I couldn't stop talking to him on the phone. Hours. Hours and hours and hours. And it was just a comfort level. It was like I'd met my best friend. It was like I, I'd met my long lost best friend. <laughs> and the last thing that I knew, this guy is probably the one, is the level of politeness and the level of respect for not only just me, but women. His mother, his sister, other women, other girls I knew, his friends, his female friends that I, I came to know and love. His ex-girlfriend, he never really said anything really bad. I didn't really know that much. It was just a level of respect for women and a level of respect for the women that we both knew. It, it, it was just a certain level. He was very cursing, no cursing at all. It was just respect and level of respect. Yes. So those are my five things. What are your five yep. things? So number one for me was the how easy it was for Tracy to talk with how easy it was for me to talk with Tracy, right? So the, the conversations were very easy going. They were very upbeat and casual and funny and in depth. And uh, right, so it was a myriad of things and uh, I just enjoyed it, enjoyed it immensely. So that was the first thing for me that uh, you were so easy to talk with. Uh, the second thing was that in doing that and getting to know Tracy, I found that there was not a whole lot of drama to our relationship, right? So, hey, we're going to go, hey, Tracy, let's go have a hot dog. Let's go and do the world. Why are we going to have a steak? How come we're not going to do this? And, you know, so everything was just really uh, free-flowing and encouraging and enjoyable. So that, that was the second thing. Uh, that, that was the second way that I really knew that you could be the one. The third thing was that Obviously, visually appealing. Duh. <laughs> so for me, 
you were just always so beautiful, so attractive, so gorgeous, and uh, I just, uh, I was just always attracted to you, right? And so that's important. Guys are very visual, and uh, we know what we like when we see it, right? And so I think that additionally, uh, on that point, that um, you were in a great place uh, inwardly. I was. And so that came through your essence and your beauty. I think it enhanced your beauty because you were in such a great place inwardly, and that manifested itself outwardly. And so that that enhanced your um, attractiveness to me. And so that's a nugget for uh, uh, ladies out there and guys out there, is that when you have it going on on the inside, people will see that on the outside, uh, regardless of what your physical features are. Yeah, I don't talk about that enough. Right? Yeah, yeah, we'll circle back to that. And the fourth thing uh, that I really liked was that I couldn't find anything that I didn't like. Wow! It's like, so here's this, here's this person that I just have, have just started to get to know and I'm having all these conversations for hours and hours on end and, you know, we're going here, we're going there, we're getting a hot dog, we're going to the movie, we're, hey, it's a pizza hut, it's wherever it is, and it was just like, <laughs> why can I not find anything that I don't like about this woman? She could be the one. Oh my God. This is crazy. You really got that? I was like thinking to myself, she could be the one. Senior year of college. It was very odd because I wasn't looking for the Me one. Either. I was actually looking to have a lot of fun. Me too. In my senior year of college. I was getting ready to turn. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, it was a uh, very pleasant surprise uh, when it was. I met Tracy. That it, was. it was like, there's nothing wrong with this girl. I love her. So then oh, the. Uh, so yes, yes. And then the, uh, the last thing was that uh, Tracy was very classy. And so uh, that, that really struck me in terms of you know, her posture, her diction, the way that she walked, the way that she uh, carried herself, the way that she uh, did everything. There was, there was such a, uh, an air of class, right? Uh, sort of a regalness about her that really attracted me. And so you know, I guess maybe it could have had something to do with me growing up in the South and having a very uh, uh, I'm a southern, southern, girl. southern mom, right? My mom was certainly a, a Southern belle of sorts, and you know was very classy herself, and uh, um, and so I think you know, there were some elements of that uh, that Tracy had that really attracted me, and so uh, so that so that's my top five that you were easy to talk with, there was no drama, that you were visually appealing even as you are today, uh, that I couldn't find anything that I didn't like and that uh, you were classy in every way. So that's my top five. So we've shared our top five? Yes. What so are yours? We, 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 we want to know. We want you guys to write uh, down in the comment section. We want to uh, get that feedback from you guys. We want to know because uh, uh, certainly there's a repository of uh, fantastic ideas out there. And we'd like to take those and, and aggregate those with the ones we've shared with you guys today. Thanks so much. Okay, guys, we sure enjoyed you guys being with us today. So remember, stay connected. Stay connected to God. Stay connected to your family. Stay connected to your spouse or your significant other. Thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe, yes. like, or comment. We'll take all of them. And let us know what other subjects you want to talk about. We're joyfully married after, for tw after 26 years, and we want to know what else you want to talk about. Thanks so much. Bye, loves. Bye, guys. Take care. See you next time.